guys welcome back to my channel so or actually i should say welcome to my patio so for my husband and i our favorite time to be out here is right now when the weather is changing so i wanted to give my patio a mini makeover and i thought i would bring you guys along with me I actually have my mom to thank for this idea because she did these same exact curtains in her backyard and i was like oh my gosh how did you do that we also added these really amazing lights to the patio they're so cool because i can control them through my phone so i really hope you guys enjoy this and give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video where I incorporate a little bit of everything so I know to do more videos like this in the future for future lifestyle videos. Alright, so we're going to kick the video off with the lighting. I feel like the lighting took everything to a completely different level and I used this kit by Ostrom. It's the Lightify Patio Mini Kit and the cool part about this is that you can connect it to Wi-Fi with this little device here and you download an app that you can basically control the lights. It's so cool. I'm going to show you guys how I installed it. It was super easy. It comes with these spikes that you can either insert them into the ground but I decided to take it off. It comes with the sticky back on it. It also comes with little miniature screws so you can definitely secure it a little bit more if you need to but mine stayed on there just fine i just attached them all along my railing so then i downloaded the app and i was interrupted by these little cutie pies right here i just had to stop and take a video and share it with you guys aren't they precious so once you download the app, it's gonna ask you to connect to your gateway, which your gateway is that little Wi-Fi cube thing that it comes with. And this is what's gonna allow you to control the lights from your phone. And then all that's left to do is just plug in your lights, which by the way, this plug is waterproof. And I verified that night, my husband so kindly locked me out of the house and it started pouring. And as you can see, Nala got soaked, I got soaked. So yes, it is definitely waterproof. So going back to the app, I'm gonna show you uh, how it works. It's so cool, you guys. Like you can turn it on and off and then you can also change the colors. And I just, I just think it's super cool. I feel like, you know, for the fall time, I would pick like an orange color for Christmas, maybe like green. And this is what it looks like. I feel like it's so whimsical and magical and I just, I love the way it came out. So now I'm gonna show you how I created these DIY curtains, which were inspired by my mom because she made them, they're super affordable. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the measurements of where you want to hang the curtains uh, vertically and then also take the measurements horizontally because you're gonna need to know what size the curtains need to be. And then you're also gonna need these hooks and these are super easy to install. You just screw them into a wall. And then you're also gonna Gonna need a uh, metal pipe these pipes are each under two dollars a piece and they're super light I know for a fact that Home Depot has them and Lowe's has them for the curtains we're gonna be using canvas drop cloth this is basically just a painters protector I ended up using a total of six of these six by nines it's super inexpensive compared to weatherproof curtains I got this for ten dollars I also got these clips at Lowe's I know Walmart sells these for way cheaper these little metal clips make it really easy for you to convert pretty much anything into curtains because you just clip it onto the fabric and you just run it through the bar then you you're just gonna cut the pipes down to the size that you need them you, you can either have it professionally done or you can do it yourself my mom did that and she said it was super easy she ended up using a little pipe cutter I did have my husband help me because I could not reach even on that little ladder I couldn't reach the very top and then we went ahead and propped it up on the screws and that is it there is no cutting no sewing required and no expensive item absolutely love the way that it looks and then at night it just feels so magical because of the lights i just love our patio i was inspired by it so much that i decided to go ahead and include a few fun recipes that you could enjoy in your patio the first one is these pop rocks edamame and they're amazing all you need is some frozen edamame smoked sea salt flavorless pop rocks which i will leave a link to where i purchase all of these things you're also going to need some sesame oil the chili oil is optional if you want a little bit of a kick you just want to make sure that your edamame is nice and thawed and you want to make sure that it's super dry because we're going to be working with hot hot oil and you don't want it to splatter everywhere so make sure you turn your stove on high and wait for the pot to get really hot and then add the oil and this is all going to happen very quickly and don't mind my dirty stove by the way 
sorry. Uh, and then just add your edamame. You're gonna cook it for about a minute on each side or until it gets really nice and charred. It's not gonna taste burnt at all. It's just gonna give it that nice crispiness. We actually tried these at a restaurant about a year ago. And ever since then, I couldn't stop thinking about them. So I decided, what the heck? I'm just gonna make them myself. So then I just served it with some low sodium soy sauce. And then I mixed the Pop Rocks with the salt. And you're basically gonna be dipping the edamame into the Pop Rock salt mixture or the soy sauce, however you want it. And it's seriously so much fun to eat. I think you could even get kids to eat this. The next thing we're gonna be making is our very own broccoli chips. I know this sounds so weird, but if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you know, I snapped about some Trader Joe's broccoli chips that I found, but they were made with the worst oil possible, so they're super unhealthy for you. So I decided to make my own homemade version and they turned out so yummy. And all you're gonna need is some fresh broccoli, avocado or olive oil, whichever you prefer, and some sea salt. I wouldn't recommend cutting the broccoli too small though because they do shrink in the oven. So I did about medium sized pieces and then I just coated them with the oil, added salt and pepper and popped them in the oven. It took me about 30 minutes to get them like this but I checked on them every 10 minutes. And I know they don't look super appetizing but they were so, so good. If you love broccoli and you like crispy chips type of texture, I was gonna add another healthy recipe, but honestly, this patio just inspired me to have a mini s'more session. We ended up trying out Reese's peanut butter cup s'mores for the first time, and oh my goodness, they were so, so good. This hibachi set is also super inexpensive and allows you to have your own s'mores party in your own backyard. We also had some regular chocolate there just in case, but we just used ground crackers and marshmallows, and it was so good. You don't even have to have a huge patio to do this. You can have a little balcony. Like not only is it good for privacy, but it also just gives it a really like cozy feeling. And then when you add the lights, it's almost like whimsical. I just love the way everything came out. I really hope you guys liked the video. I had so much fun making it. I did have lots of help. I had my father-in-law help with power washing the patio. I had my husband help. He was like bolting the, the things and had his god brother help us cutting the pipe. and. This has to be one of my favorite DIY projects that I've done so far. I love you guys, and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.